as you can see, we are going to the town of Maletsoi, which we used to know as Aliwil North. Well, Maletsoi one can at least pronounce. Yes, it's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, it's about a 45 kilometer drive to get there, or 50 kilometer drive to get there. Okay. This is about 10 kilos before we get to Alawal North. Oh, oh, look at this. This is fantastic. How cool is this? What a welcome. This bridge, I wonder if this was the original bridge you used to drive over on your way out of Alawal North must be because yes the new bridge right next to it yes wow how awesome check if you see a date it's got a national it's a national monument yes there's a plaque 1881 sour bridge opened september 28th let me read a little bit the sandstone bridge the cornerstone of which was laid in 1881 was opened on 23 September 1881 by Jacobus Wilhelm Sauer, Minister of Railways and Harbours, after whom it was named. The National Monuments Council 1980. That was when the National Monuments Council still worked. Awesomeness! Yeah. How beautiful is this entrance here? Cry River Bridge Hotel. This hotel is older than the bridge we crossed to get here. The bridge was 1881. They can't find out exactly when it was built because this hotel was here when they used to still cross the river with pontoons. That's incredible. And now what's interesting is that the road from the bridge over there used to come past these massive trees. So this used to be the old road right here. And they used to charge a toll to go over that bridge. And this used to be the old stables. Turned into accommodation places now. Beautiful. And this used to be the old toll house. People had to pay toll to cross this beautiful bridge. How cool is this? How beautiful is this? 
Yeah. Hello. And down there is a camping site, but it's private. They've just started it. How is this? I've got a 4x4 four four trail going up onto that hill at the back there. Yeah, what a beautiful place, eh? What a beautiful story. <laughs> Look, when I saw the name today, yes. I knew. And wasn't this worth it? This bridge is like totally our vibe. And so man, they are doing such a great job, eh? Me and her are like going on about how good people have painted the sandstone. Yes. Can you imagine painting this white? It'll just take away the character. She's looking into ways to have the white paint removed, but it's very expensive. Yeah, but it's also, you know, you don't want any of the white paint remaining. You no. need it all gone. This cornerstone is something out of this world. Yes. Oh, what a great place. No, this was a great stop. So there's the Cry River. This is the Cry River. That's why it's called the Cry River Hotel. So we're going to cross the Cry now. We just crossed oh, it we again. Just cro <laughs> <laughs> we just crossed it. <laughs> what I mean was we're going to see the name now when we cross it. Yes. Oh, wow. That was fantastic. Oh, I love that place. She says when the folks from Joburg come and they leave, they book again for the next year. Oh really? That's it's upstairs brilliant. and downstairs. There are rooms upstairs too. Self-catering. That's nice, eh? Toll in. Toll Herberg. That's such a nice word, yes, Herberg. Yes, Herberg. It just makes it sound cozy. And old. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is what I mean. Look at this, but this is a nice bridge too, eh? All, all this up to the river, on the opposite side of this road is there. Property? Property, oh, wow. yes. Look at that. That's quite a big river. It is, eh? That was fantastic. Behind us will be 
happy too if yes. you stop. Monastery. SCJ Monastery. Okay. That's only our second monastery yes, ever. Ever. This is some big thing over here. Yes, look at these foundation stones. Yeah. It's a school. This is a school. Catholic it school. Is? I'm sure it's a Catholic school. Because there's Mother Mary in the top there. Where? There. Oh there. Oh yes. there, yes, in white. There she is behind the fence. I see. And the cross above her and the clock above the cross. Yes. So it is safe to assume that that's a Catholic church. Must be. That one that we saw there that's driving. Twin towers, yes. yes. Let's see if we can get close. Yeah. This is the Holy Cross Primary School Sports Complex. Wow, across so this the is road. A yes. big, big place, eh? There's more over here. Faith High School. Well, the name, it must be part of the whole. Yes. It's a big complex, this. like it's this whole block and yes. it's a big block. Wow, that's, I wish I could get into that by that building. This building over yeah. here. Holy Cross Primary School. Is this a primary school? It is stunning. There's a cornerstone. Did you see a cornerstone? Yes. There. Yeah, there's so many fences and gates here. The foundation stone was blessed by the Right Reverend Hugh McSherry, DD, and laid by His Excellency the Honourable Sir Walter Francis Healy Hutchinson on the 10th of October 1906. I, if I even look at this lamppost here, we ain't gonna get far with Allenwell North today, I can see. <laughs> the way we started with Allenwell North today, with the toll house and that bridge, and look at this so far. Even the lamppost is blowing my mind. <laughs> Let's go check out the church. Oh, this is gonna freak me out completely. This is crazy. This must be a cathedral or something. It is rather grand, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, now this is a busy road. That's going to be a problem for us. I'm going to park right behind All that right. truck over there. One hundred years centenary celebration anniversary of the Diocese of Alawal. We can drive in. I think that's better. Do you think so? Yes. Oh, blood donation. Oh, on the church premises. Yes. 
So let's hold thumbs. I spoke to the nun and she's going to contact the priest and find out if they can open for me. How amazing is this? Sacred Heart Cathedral. She says father's not here. Aww. She says he's in town. No problem. We saw it from the outside. That is amazing. I can just imagine what it looks like inside. So is it the parish is a hundred years old in November? Yes. Oh diocese. The diocese. Sorry, diocese. But we don't know when the cathedral was built. We don't know, so um, it must probably be inside somewhere. Yes. It could be more or less that time period, you know. It was, oh! They have to build a, a place, place to worship. It was a beautiful view from the outside. Yeah. Loved it. It's a new development. Office park, it looks like. Office building. Kemba Kujana building. Okay. Alright. That looks um, very modern. It does, eh? And fairly new. What is this? Hi? What is this? Pull over? This looks like some type of a monument or thing. Definitely. I'll have to go walk I in can't, I can't read it from here. Something a little north. This is a major Anglo-Boer War memorial. 1899 to 1902. Get goosebumps. It's a concentration camp remembrance garden for Alawal North. Oh.
Господа. These are the original gravestones of the concentration camp that have been rescued and put over here that they don't get destroyed. How fantastic is that? And in the back there, now I can't get in, is the roll of honor of all the people who died in the concentration camp. 716 people passed away in this concentration camp. And yeah, on this side are more of the gravestones and at the back there, you can see, this is the number you can call to get in. She's emotional, eh? Yo. Seriously. Yes. So I see online that the garden was dedicated on the 12th of September 1981. Yeah. Okay. And the artist was David Goldblatt. It's magnificent though, eh? drive here, there are wars going on in the world. Yep. Elowal North High School. Yes. The Johan Greef Hall. Hoerschool Alival Noord. Yep. This is the Elowal North Hospital. Oh, okay. I think it looks quite big. Yeah. Well, the town's really big, so... Yes. Is the worst school courses? All right. Hostel. Quietening down on a Friday afternoon. Oh, so great. I thought it would be busier. So see nuns in town. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh. Old Mutual. And this one, yeah. Oh! And this one here, 1905. Oh. I haven't even looked up the history yet, but I think we can get an idea. That's for sure. must be one of the most beautiful farm stalls in the country. Yes. Don't you agree? I agree with you. Clear? Oh. What? 
Oh, the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh tells me you. Check this you was the old one. Was here. <gasps> the Orange River. Yes. Nineteen thirty-seven. Okay. Oh, the mighty orange. Yes. Here we go. How's this bridge? Yeah. Yes, I did. Just <laughs> oh, my mind. Yep. Karib District Municipality. It's just automatic and natural that we have to cross it again. Yeah, well, we have to get back into it. Yeah, but um, even if we didn't have to. Yeah, do it again. Yeah, it says 1937. I see that. Yeah. I can remember with my parents when we used to travel from Bloemfontein to East London. We used to go over this bridge. You remember it from... Look at those riverside properties. Yes. But look at the river. It's phenomenal. Now I think this must have been some tunnel. Is it a tunnel or is this an old bridge? I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, there's definitely an opening at the bottom. Yes. There's nowhere to stop. No. Wow, I like Elowell North. <laughs> Let's go check out what that building is. The one we don't know what it is, the yes. one on the corner. Okay, do It's this one. What is this? Yes, if I don't see anything now, I will. It occupies this whole block. Yes. Very official looking building. Could it be the town hall? I get a college vibe. You do? I do. And yes, an old church. Thanks for playing museum. So this was the church square. Municipal offices. So that's definitely the municipal offices. Okay. That's the town hall. All right. Great stuff. I don't think this is open anymore. We can turn in there. Okay. I also get that feeling, you know. Yeah, it's there locked. is a number. You have to call for them to come and open. Visiting hours? From 8 to 4. <laughs> Tuesdays only 10 to 12. Oh, really? Is that the new one? The old sign says 8 to 4. This is for the market. Oh, okay. Any sign of a date? This building needs a lot of TLC. It definitely does. I don't see a cornerstone anyway. Mm. Let's go like this. Limited hours. 
of availability. Sure, just on a Tuesday from 10 till 12. I see birds flying in and out. I'm uh, not sure if they are still operational. That's for sure. My thought would say no. Do you see anything that side? Uh-uh. No. How spectacular are these buildings? It's beautiful, eh? Different styles at the top. Yeah. this church. I don't see any cornerstone or anything like that. It's a big building. It is massive. Eh? Do and we that... have any guesses? <sighs> would you say Dutch Reformed with its hall? Definitely with its hall. I would say 1906. <laughs> would you? Look at that door my angel. Oh, true. That's, that's the door I'm talking about. Yes. I think I must make a U-turn. I'll park on the opposite side and quickly walk around the corner and see if there's a cornerstone. And a name. Yes. I, I'm sure it's that's reformed, but... Let me go and have a look, Squiz. Look at this. Yeah. yeah, that's Reformed Church of Allowell North. And there's the cornerstone. Those doors are beautiful. 1924. I think it's 23 February. saw something across the road then we're just gonna have a quick squeeze. Those who perished in the First World War. C and A. What this is? Okay, so they tell me it's called Ikala College. Oh, nice.
Lots of interesting places, yeah. Yeah, I love it. I wanted to come here Look. because this is a place of interest. Look at this. I think. This is the they say the park in the center of Aliwal North. Yes. The Wana Square Gardens was named after Harry Smith's wife, Juana Maria Dolores de Leon. One of the first white settlers in the area, Peter Jacobus de Vet, built a house at the nearby Buffalo's Flay around 1828. Municipal status was attained in 1882. Wow. Now this is a huge place. That's beautiful, eh? And it still looks well taken no, care it looks of. Beautiful. Which is so encouraging. Very little litter lying around. Yeah. The grass has been cut. Yeah, it's, it's really neat, eh? And this wall still looks good. This is nice. Very nice. And you can turn right in front. Oh. Okay. Before we turn right, what is to our left? <laughs> what do you think this is? It's definitely a church building. But I don't know which one. Shall we go around the corner? Let's have a look. Uh, St. Paul's Anglican Church. Okay. Original bell tower. That's for sure. I haven't spotted a cornerstone. Okay. Looks like they're in the process of fixing it up. Yes, it does, eh? So you wanted me to go right? Yes. I think we both saw something earlier. Oh no, but we haven't been here earlier. Public library. Look, Look at this at stunning this. building. 1876. I love it. Oh, so this is now the museum. Oh, is this the museum? So their visiting hours are Monday. 9 to 12 and Fridays 9 to 12. Oh, almost there. Oh, this is fantastic. 1876. This looks operational to me. Oh, it looks in good nick, eh? Wow. All of a sudden the wind has come up. Major dust storm. Every piece of paper in Aliwal North is blowing down the street. Yeah. Beautiful building that. I love it. Yes. Beautiful religious buildings in uh, Alamo North. Yeah, and a lot. Many of them. Nice and wide with a row of trees down the center. Yep. Look at the animals. Yes. Giraffe, ostrich. An elephant. I missed some of the others. Sharp right here. Yes, man. Yeah, this wind is all of a sudden. They say this is heavy. Yes. Look at these white. 
tree trunks. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah. About 200 meters. Yes. Place? If you're looking, this is number eight. Okay. Now I wonder who's number seven. You sure it's number seven? Yes. This is number six. So much. number seven must be on that side. I fear. I'm fearing that same fear. For the worst. This is one. This is one. Is this one? No. Yeah. Okay. This is 11 already. Oh, no. It is no more. Okay, what I was looking for was number 7 Levy Street because the doctor that helped the people in the concentration camps to survive and with the cleanliness and stuff lived in that house with his family. I found something interesting about the concentration camp after we had left there. Yes. This might be a good time to share that too. Yes. On 8th January 1901, following the evacuation of Smithfield during the Second Boer War, Major Kendall Prettyman and Thorpe established the Aliwal North concentration camp, which at its height housed approximately 2,000 Boer refugees. The camp was closed by November 1902 after the inmates had been repatriated to their homes. Yeah. We have now been up and down Levy Street, which I think is how it's pronounced, and there's no sign of that structure. Yeah. So we have to give up. Yeah, so I'm so sorry about that, eh? Let's move on. Had to make way for development. Yes, next stop is 1.8 kilometers and then we turn left. Right, yeah. Okay. Ellawal Spa. Hot Springs. Sure. Outdoor pool, kiddies pool, hot pool, gym and spa. How cool is this? I'm coming down the wrong oh. side. <laughs> we should have come in there. The other side, yeah. That looks nice. Yeah. I saw a big pool as we were passing. Yes. It's into the right way. Yes, ma'am. Although this person's coming out the wrong way. All right. <laughs> That's fine. Look at the pool. People are prying. Yeah, look at this. Nice. How cool is this, eh? Yeah. Yeah, look at those rock gardens right up there. And uh, even a super tube, you see. Slide there, yes. Is it just a slide? Yes, it's like a water slide. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, not just a slide, a yeah, slide. Of course. And it's 30 degrees, may I tell you? It's hot. I feel every single one of them. <laughs> it's a cool place. Yes, it is. I don't think we'll go in now. No, no. It's too late in the afternoon. I just wanted to come and check it out. I think the slide starts at the top and then comes all the way down to 
Yeah. Folks are having a good time. That's for sure. How nice is this? There I see another pool there at the back. Yes, right at the back. Yeah, you see. Yeah, I see it. Hot springs. Yeah. Well, I've never been here. You've been here. Not to these hot springs. No, in, in town. Well, driving through, I've never spent time here, just driving through on our holidays to East London from Bloemfontein. I've never been here. Never even driven through? Before today. Wow. No, we weren't Eastern Cape people. Oh, uh, okay. I got to learn about the Eastern Cape only in later life. So this is the old post office. 1896. Wow. We've driven here before, but we didn't know it was the old post office. No, we didn't. <laughs> Even a little north there's a gravel road. I'm happy to take it. Where are we going? Down to the river? Yes. Close, I can get to the river. Are you on the right side? Yeah, the bridge is that side. Okay, yeah. yes, we should have gone left there. Yeah, then. but I just, they just wanted to get here, but. This is the orange river. Yes. Can you imagine living here? On the orange. Sure. Very pretty. Let me turn back and go there. I love the Orange River, hey? Yeah, same here. We haven't seen it in a few trips. No, we haven't. How lush is the vegetation? Traffic is a little wild in town at 10 to 5 on a Friday afternoon. Yeah, and it's funny, you know, from about half past five, quarter to six, it'll die down. Well, I hope so. <laughs> but then we have to check in. Yep. Then we're done exploring. Yes, ma'am. Log apartment building. Yeah. With a thatch roof. Yes. <laughs> That's a good combo. I think this is where we want to be. I think so too. The other side. Grill and pizzeria. What was that? A moth? Yeah. No, I think it was just a, a um, piece of bark.
How nice this is. Sheer. So Sonny's decided she's ordering the riverside fish and I'm having the sirloin steak. Great stuff. The way this car smells now. The tummy is not agreeing with my decision to go driving store. <laughs> close to six we're gonna check in very very soon yes ma'am riverside lodge 32 rooms eh? i never thought that that's wild i didn't think they had 32 rooms yes beautiful location right on the orange river oh stunning and i hope their food is as good as their location and the way it smells i think it's going to be great it smells divine doesn't it sure So while we're taking a slow drive to our accommodation, just a very short bit of history about the town. Yep. What is the town's new name? Maletsoi. Maletsoi, all right. So, Sir Harry Smith, then governor of the Cape Colony, formally founded the small town of Alawil North in the Cape Province of South Africa in 1850. Hey. He named the town Alawil North in memory of his victory over the Six at the Battle of Alawil during the First Sikh War in India in 1846. Wow. Now Sikh is S-I-K-H. The town was laid out in 1849 on ground acquired by the government. This was auctioned and 38 lots were sold for 972 pounds. Oh, wow. 
gone are those days forever. Oh, oh yes. And interestingly, the Dutch Reformed Church was built in 1855. Now, either the two of us haven't found it or it doesn't exist. Yeah, no, definitely. What is this? The light of a century. That's just too cool to pass up. Yeah, let me go and have a look. These are two anchors with their chains. This stone was laid by DSP Ackerman Mayer on the 12th of May 1945 to replace the stone that was laid here on the 12th of May 1849 by J.C. Chase, Esquire Magistrate, when the town was founded. Crazy! Sonja's gonna freak when I tell her this. <laughs> And this is the light. That was cool. I, I wonder if they've put the original stone somewhere. I, I must have replaced it just for the 100 year celebration or it must have been in bad condition. And did you check out the two lions lying guard on either side of it? Yes, ma'am. And the anchors? The anchors I wonder what do. connection that has. And I see the thick chains are still there. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yes, ma'am. We continue straight. Yes. 700 meters, we turn right. Radio. Last minute accommodation again. Yes. <laughs> I arranged it last night. waiting there and I decided to come around this way and the lady just came just arrived now to open for us <laughs> and it looks like our unit is one of these two on this side there we are she says the parking area is small. But our little so car is perfect for it. It was made for our car. <laughs> this is our little pussy. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's got one switch. Okay, yeah, there I've got lights on now. That's a second bedroom, which we won't be using. Or maybe we'll just put our things in and then our room's free. Kitchen, yeah? The main bedroom, it's got an outside door as well. And then the bathroom.
This is mine. Uh, sirloin steak with mash and onion rings. And this is Sonia's, but she scaled my chips. No, that's her chips. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna beat me up. And she's got fish and a salad. Yeah, let's enjoy. It's time for me to go and sit down and enjoy that steak. I'm starving. And uh, then just sit down and chill. I see the crickets on. South Africa against Pakistan. I see that we're like, got eight wickets left and we need 21 runs to go off of 52 balls. So I don't know how that's going to turn out. So I'm going to go and sit and enjoy that. And then I'm going to hit the sack and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning and welcome to Alawil North. It was drizzling a few times last night and the wind was blowing like crazy but it seems to have cleared up this morning so we are hoping to have a clear day on our travels today. We thought we'd covered Alawil North but there's just I think two little items that we'd like to go and search out before we leave and uh, then we'll hit the road. Park right in front of our door. How awesome was that? You made it so easy to load up and load off. Yeah. Or offload. <laughs> Just want to close this gate. Our, I was out cold by nine. Yeah, you were gone early last night. I think I saw South Africa beat Pakistan. Yes. Yeah, that was there. An amazing a final, I'm telling you. I hear the commentators say that they think it was the best game of the, the whole series so far. But it wasn't the final. No, no, no. no. Oh. Oh, okay. I've got no clue where. The, I see South Africa's top of the log at the moment, but India's only played five games and South Africa six. But by the time our viewers watch this, that will long on. It's long all gone. over. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was a comfortable stay. Yes. And it's a crisp. 14 degrees this morning. I can feel that. But it was so hot yesterday. It's crazy, eh? But I'm sure it looks clear that side there, so... Let's see. Today is also the day of the Rugby World Cup final between us and the Kiwis. Yes. That's, that's going to be a, a heavy one. And they're both vying for the fourth title. We're on our way to the place we're looking for and we just passed this amazing old little is it an electrical box i think i think it says alawil north at the top i can only make out the north but at the bottom i don't know what that it says. looks like electric light or something at the bottom there i can't really let me it says electric lighting alawil north electric lighting so for the street lights yes fantastic eh Never seen one of those before. Oh. That is awesome. How smart is that? But um, it's still there. It's yeah, a miracle. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, our host told us last night that um, they go, Christmas time, they go every year to the cathedral and uh, how magical the, the uh, Christmas service is. And there are the two towers. Yes, yes. How coincidental. <laughs> um, and they still have the nativity scene and Christmas carols. Another one. Yeah. This is so cool. Yep. So I can only imagine. Yeah, I think the, the I think the Catholic Church goes there it is. into heavy detail with their Christmas celebration. But I don't know, I wouldn't know. I can imagine. Yes, this yes. is it. This is an old, old cemetery. It's locked. Oh no, it's locked. But the little gate is open. Great. What drew our attention to this is that it's such an old cemetery and it's in the middle of town. This is Jakuba Johanna Wagenaar. Born on the 10th of January, 1839, passed away on the 20th of October, 
H.M.L. Wittner died on the 12th of June 1889, aged 74 years old. Wow. Oh yeah, Anna Susanna Joubert and Gideon David Joubert died on the 22nd of 20th of August 1916, aged 69, was Anna and Gideon passed away on the 22nd of September 1911, he was 60. Wow, this is really an old cemetery. It looks like no one gets buried here anymore. I suspect this must have been the original cemetery of Ellawal North and it used to be on the outskirts of town but now it's in the centre of town and it's, there's no more room left. Yeah, I thought it was fascinating. It's amongst houses. Yes. Area Drakensburg Sports Club. different back then. <laughs> the traffic officer was very strict with me. He dropped something and I picked it up. Oh! And he thought, you're not supposed to do that. You must just keep going. You know, back then I went for my learner's license in the morning and I went for my driver's the afternoon. I can't remember that kind of detail. I don't think it worked like that for me in Pretoria. But I was very nervous and he was so stern. Oh. <laughs> but I passed, which was all that counted. Yep. Um, Look at this. <gasps> Is this the station? We have found it. Alleywell North. Look at this. Asango Career School. It's a no. school now. Look at the local. Yes. It's behind a fence. That's brilliant. It's a it's a school now. But how can it be? How's that possible? Well, there's no station? No, it looks like there's no station anymore. I get a station vibe here. Uh, this must have been the station because there's this loco here. And there it says, Alawal North Amasango Career School. What does this board say, this faded one? Notice no unauthorized persons. Wow, this was definitely the railway, the, the old station. There's a side road, I'm going to go in on that side road. Definitely the station. I'm so glad that if it was abandoned that someone's using it. No, me too. I just thought we'd see a track or two. Yeah. Can I ask these gentlemen? Yes, do, please. So they say there's no trains running here? No trains running for many years, not even freight, they say. I think they might not know that, um, I think the, the, the passenger trains are starting again because they have to, from Johannesburg to East London, they have to pass through here. Oh, they do? Yeah. Are these are tracks? Yes. Okay. If I can just get to the tracks and see what they look like, I will um, tell you if there's a train crossing there. Too much growth and stuff here. No, nothing going past you. They're right, eh? 
absolutely nothing. They would have known, my angel. Look where they walk. Yes. They would have known. Oh, there's nothing going past here. It's all rusted. The only good thing is that the station buildings haven't been burnt down or burnt or broken down and that they're being used. Yes, that's fantastic. And I that the it. loco is behind a palisade fence and being protected. That is awesome. Oh, okay. Well, for what it's worth now, I shall tell you that the railway line from Maltino reached Alloway North on 2 September 1885. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, it's a real pity we won't be able to get close to the loco or to the um, buildings. Yes. But they look in great shape. I'm so, so glad. They... Look at the stone building has been protected. The roof is still intact. See, that's also definitely railway. Yeah. Look at that pointy thing yes. on that little roof. And the loco is under a roof itself, protected. True, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah, that is awesome. Isn't that the first open air one we've seen under roof? Yes. I mean, like, it's not in a building. No, it's under, a, it's got its own little off duck. Love that. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Maletsuai, Alawil North. I enjoyed our visit. No, it was great. It was awesome. Beautiful buildings there. I, um, as we're crossing the Melkspreit River, <laughs> the highlight for me had to have been the bridge crossing the Orange River. Uh, the religious buildings are awesome as well. Yeah, and also another highlight for me was that old toll bridge that was beautiful i know you yeah, know the, the the bridge to and um, from alawil north incredible yep 